everyone how you doing today i'm here with another video showing you guys a new laptop this is an acer aspire 13 no aspire 3 model is a315-31 and this one has a intel celeron processor and 3350 and hd graphic which is the um, intel graphic in integrated has 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of hard drive as a mechanical hard drive I'm gonna open it up and show you guys the inside of it and see what kind of surprise you're gonna get so first thing first I just realized that this laptop it's the heatsink part right here this is how it comes in the package it's empty so there is no condenser right there so they're supposed to have some kind of condenser inside just like that so that's missing and there's a fan I see the fan right there so pretty much I'm gonna open it up so let's get into it so let's remove all the screws all right now that we removed all the screws we're gonna lift up the cover for the RAM this was Supposed to be the RAM cover, so all right. This is no RAM cover, and there's just a heat sink there. Let's remove this part. This should be the hard drive right there, and it is. There's a mechanical hard drive right there. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the hard drive. There is no screw for the hard drive. You just have to lift it up. It's a Toshiba hard drive. And next, we gotta remove two more screws right here under the cover. Okay. Next, we're gonna remove the bottom cover. And to do that, you need to get yourself a guitar pick. I recommend a guitar pick. So. What you're gonna do, you're gonna stick the guitar pick in between the bottom cover and top cover, and just gonna wiggle it around. Do the same thing to the sides. And the whole thing should come out. And then slowly lift up the cover, wiggle it around. Do the same thing for the back side. There we go. Wow. Really surprised. So the fan's supposed to be there and there's a heat sink right there. So we'll put this to a side. And this is what you get. Pretty fantastic. You have the heat sink. It's supposed to cool down a heat sink right there. There is no heat sink, so pretty much this is useless fan right there. And there's the CPU. As a aluminum sheet right on top there is no ra removable RAM so there has a built-in RAM so we're gonna remove the heat sink this is aluminum sheet so they call it a heat sink removing the three screws you can go ahead and pick up so there you go you have your build in on the board RAM a your CPU and this flimsy thing it's supposed to be your heatsink. There is no tubing, there is no condenser, nothing. So there's no way this can cool down or absorb like a more than 20 minutes of heat. So pretty much it is a definitely a tablet with a fan, useless fan. You can save more battery just disconnecting the fan if you guys want it. Because it's not doing anything, just circulating some air. Not doing a big thing. So, and if you want to change the thermal paste, go ahead and change it. Doesn't matter what kind of thermal paste you put, liquid metal or whatever you want to put, it will not make no change because after a few minutes, it is going to absorb all the heat. This aluminum sheet, and then that then heat is going to go back to the CPU, 
Uh, it is going to throttle. So, yeah. I'm going to put it back together. All right. And this is the battery right here. So, it is kind of one and two cell batteries. The keyboard cable, the speakers, and then USB hub, power jack goes right through here, one cable. And honestly, do not buy this laptop. It's not worth the money. You're better off buying a tablet. So let's put it back together. We're going to grab the bottom cover. I'm going to put the bottom cover right there. So. They're supposed to put a RAM there, but the RAMs are underneath here and they're soldering, so this cover it is useless. The case, the whole case, is designed for a heat sink uh, with a heat pipe, all that stuff. But for some reason, for marketing reason, they do this, so it won't last long. And if you want to get a good laptop, you got to pay good money. But these are low-end laptops. But they, they recently started doing this, and before, like a, a year ago, two years ago, they never did this, even if you bought a low-end laptop. I think the quality control is like a, all messed up. So we're going to put in the hard drive, just shove it in there. You might want to put this end first underneath and then just shove it down there. So run the cable, plug in the cable and put the covers and the cover for the hard drive. If you guys like this video and if you have any questions when you request, just ask. Okay. This was the wrong place to put this. The screw goes there. So if you have any requests, if you want to see more videos regarding any other laptop, all right, now we're going to put all the screws back in. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, then we're done here.